Hello, my name is Russell Preston Brown from Adobe Systems, and this is The Russell Brown Show. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the advantages of working with the new DNG format here inside of Adobe Lightroom on a Samsung S7 phone. Let's get right into it. Here you can see in the lower right hand corner, right down here, inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile, that I can tap on this camera icon. I can open up my camera settings and right over here I can tap to select RAW or JPEG. Now in this case I've taken a photograph in the RAW and JPEG format so I can show you the amazing advantages. I'm selecting RAW right there. Then I'm going to transfer back over here to my images that I've photographed both in the DNG format and the JPEG format. Let's take a look at this image right here and review the advantages of working in the DNG format. I'm going to zoom in, for example, right in on this cloud and take a look at the first feature that I really love, and that's the highlight recovery that's possible with DNG images. You can see that this looks pretty good because this is the DNG image, and I'm not losing any detail in the highlights. I'm going to tap with two fingers on this DNG image right now to bring up my histogram here in Lightroom Mobile. Check it out. Over here on the right, you can see that I'm not clipping my highlights. And on top of that, if I tap here on my controls and I adjust my highlights right here, you can see that I have an enormous latitude of control over those highlights and I can recover them even in the brightest areas of this cloud. However, let's switch now over to the JPEG version of this exact same cloud taken with the Samsung S7 at the same time with the same settings. Wow, over here on the right, I am clipping my highlights. In the process of converting this to JPEG, some of the highlights within this cloud are lost. And in fact, if we try and adjust those highlights down here, Within Lightroom Mobile, I cannot recover them. No matter how much I try, they are gone. So, there's your first advantage, highlight recovery here with a DNG image. The next thing I like about working with DNG images is that there's no JPEG compression. Let's take a look first at this JPEG image. I've enlarged a section of the image so you can see the artifacting here in the blue sky and around the detail of this metal frame. Aha! Let's now switch over to the corresponding image that I photographed in the DNG format right here. As you can see, there's some noise in the sky, but I have all of the detail within this image and there's no JPEG compression. I can reduce this noise and I can determine how much I want to sharpen this image, whereas with the JPEG image, that's done for you. I prefer the DNG format because it's raw and I can do the sharpening and noise reduction myself. Finally, there's one last feature I want to demonstrate, and that's the ability to change your white balance. Check this out. Here's the second image right here. Here at the base, I'm tapping at my controls and I'm going to tap on white balance right here. Check this out. See all of the different settings I can choose from in this case? And there's a preview of each of them that's being displayed. This is the full set of white balance adjustments that I'd like to choose from and you can only get these if you work with a DNG image because if I tap away and I slide to this second image right here, which is a JPEG image, as you see here, I can now tap once again on the white balance, but this time I only get three choices, as shot, auto, and custom. So I don't have that enormous number of white balance selections to choose from. There you have it. Some great capabilities found here inside of Adobe Lightroom Mobile for working with the new DNG formatted images on a Samsung S7 running on an Android device. This is incredible. 
Give it a try.